All right, guys, as always, for our giveaway, we're going to be giving away this Calvin Heimberg AVR. I know he just came off that win at Jonesboro, so perfect time to give this away. But if you guys are wanting to win this, all you got to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a comment on this video. Winner will be selected soon and notified in the comments. All right, guys, welcome to Northwest Vista College in San Antonio, Texas. This is going to be the, the last Texas course here for a little bit. We're about to move on, go through New Mexico and up north. But here we go. Hole one going to be a tunnel shot. This course was very unique, a little short, but uh, it definitely made up for with these technical shots. So have uh, obviously either option, sidearm, backhand. And uh, this basket's actually pushed back a little bit further than what it looks like at the end of the tunnel. So you do have to get out of the tunnel and give it a little bit more. And then a little elevated basket there. But end up taking a par. So hole number two, 282, par three. This one is going to pretty much be wide open until you start to make the turn. Then you're going to have a lot of trees. You could probably throw up and over everything. Uh, a sidearm or a turnover shot if you wanted to but I didn't want to gamble just because of how thick everything was I wanted to make sure that I was getting in the center of the fairway but it is slightly uphill so you do have to make sure you get a little bit of distance and have a, a good turn on it so it will take another par there Moving on, hole three, 168. This is going to be one of those short ones, but anytime it is short, it is very technical, as you can tell. Uh, just very low ceiling, and I get, in my opinion, very lucky with this shot right here. Just throwing my envy, but was able to keep it underneath everything and, and found that window and was able to have a little straddle putt from here. And able to get the first birdie of the day. Felt really good on that shot. But hole four, 179. This is going to be a pretty tight shot. Um, just because of how low ceiling it is. But you got to have a good flare skip, in my opinion, on this one. Because you can't uh, go too high with the highs or else you'll end up catching that ceiling there. And then you can't go too far with it. You'll end up going right into the bushes. So... I had a decent skip, just needed a little bit more. And had a look for birdie, but just ended up a little uh, left of the basket. So take another par there. Here we go, hole number five, 191. Once again, as I said, anytime it is short, you know it's going to be technical. And it definitely is. So starting off, uh, you know, in my opinion, they had a few different... I, I feel comfortable throwing the sidearm holes, but they do veer right. It's not going to be the, the case the whole entire time, but I ended up catching one of these trees, knocked me down. There are some gaps there, but it is a pretty tough shot to get through just because of how many trees there are. But there are several different lines, so it's one of those spray and pray kind of things, in my opinion. But here we go, 399, going to be pretty wide open but very, very thick left and right. So you got to make sure that you hit that gap right there and get around everything. If you hyzer early, good luck finding that disc because that stuff is very thick to the left. And I was able to just barely make it around the corner. I was throwing my Tesla there and maybe I, I wish I would have disced up a little bit, but I wasn't 100% sure where the basket was because this was my first time playing. So hole seven, going to be 189, and as you guessed it, going to be a little technical here. So there is a small window, low ceiling that you got to hit. So I'm throwing my pyro here on hyzer, and I ended up hitting the uh, bottom of the pole on the basket. So I was pretty happy with that. Ended up getting kicked just a little bit there, but uh, to the right. So totally happy with that one. Here we go, hole eight, 257. This one's going to be playing on the fairway of uh, hole six, I believe, just to the left of it. But definitely have to throw a really high hyzer. And it's uh, a little overgrown, in my opinion. I wish they would trim it back. But I was able to have a good shot here and was able to make it through and, and land. But I feel like if you 
end up anywhere else you know it's gonna be very thick i was very fortunate with that in my opinion so hole nine 207 par three and once again you guessed it gonna be somewhat technical this one was probably one of the easier ones but you just have to be precise with your shot because of the low ceiling and just get something that'll skip up there and uh, i was throwing my deflector there and had a had a great skip so hole 10 346 this is probably in my opinion the the worst hole here just because of the way this plays, I mean, you cannot throw a roller to get to this basket. You cannot throw a hyzer, as you can tell. Um, you know, you're really just laying up right there. I mean, I'm sure you could try to throw a roller and get a little bit further, but it would have to be a throw-in birdie. So there's not really a way to get a birdie, in my opinion, on this one. There may be some local route where you throw a reverse or something. I just didn't see it, but... Um, was not a, a super, super that was not one of my uh, I wasn't a fan of that hole so hole 11 318 this one is going to play along the riverbank but actually to the right is I believe it was 16 fairway but I'm going to be throwing a big hyzer over everything and just kind of coming back you can see 16's basket just to the right of our screen here but ended up a little short in this and luckily enough i had a window so i was able to toss out and just uh, tap that in for a par so hole 12 is probably the most creative hole i love the way that they use the property on on a few of these shots coming up and and just what's already there with the buildings and this is we're actually underneath a bridge where people are walking and this disc uh, that pilot i threw just hyzered out a little too early and it was not able to throw that straight shot. But hole 13, 177, par 3. This is a, a, a tough one because once you make this turn right here, you only have that window. Otherwise, it is thick on the left and the right. And it ended up being a little bit too far. And you're in jail. Um, luckily enough, I was able to... to find a small little window and, and pitch out but if you want to get your birdie you got to be very precise on that high that blind hyzer hole 14 323 this one you, you do have a little s to it as you can see right here you could try to flex something through there i'm going over the top of everything just throwing a little flex on this uh, octane here pretty overstable having it come back in Ended up just a little short, though. Needed a little bit more juice on it, but did not want to play with uh, all the foliage that's all over the place on this one. So here we go again. Using the property, they're going to um, be using this retainer wall kind of to build this tunnel, which I thought was really neat. And you just have to throw something to, to get all the way down there. And I end up throwing my sidearm and just catch the end of it but it gave me a really good kick so i was happy with that and then was able to make this long putt for a birdie so i will take that hole 16 so this is like i said earlier um we kind of are crisscrossing fairways somewhat but you can throw and try to make it through that tiny gap there or go up and over everything that's what i'm going to be doing throwing my tesla again and originally, when I threw the shot, I thought I did go a little bit too far. But there are some trees that, that did catch it, so I didn't end up going to that sidewalk where that person's walking. That's where I originally thought I ended up. Was able to make another long putt there for another birdie. So hole 17, 199. This is going to be directly over water. And... You can hyzer something if you want to. You can throw sidearm. Just uh, it, it is pretty shallow on the edges, so if you do throw in, you're able to retrieve it. And I'm throwing my Envy here, and I was just <laughs> assuming that it was going to hyzer back a lot more, but it's Envy, and they go pretty straight, and I should not have done that. And had a death putt right here, and ended up just hitting the uh, bottom of the pole, so just tap that in for a par. Hole 18, this one's going to be the one that's closest to the road so there are going to be cars uh driving by if you're playing during school hours of the college that is so just be cautious of that 
so I was waiting before it was clear through my Tesla got it up a little bit too high and once again this brush uh, is very very thick but luckily I was able to just drop right down and from here just tapping in another par but overall guys this course is awesome free course to play it's a very quick course It'll probably take about an hour but definitely check it out